Breaking out from Normandy in August 1944, General George S. Patton's U.S. Third Army accelerated through France, driving the shattered German army before it. American mechanization meant that it was rapidly outmaneuvering the slower-moving German forces. That was until Allied supply problems asserted themselves and the Third Army ground to a halt through lack of fuel. The respite this afforded the enemy allowed Hitler the opportunity to firstly sort out proper defences in the West and to plan an offensive to stop Patton completely. The Germans had created powerful new Panzer Brigades. Designed for the Eastern Front, the Panzer Brigades were similar to Panzer Divisions, but smaller, with two battalions of tanks each, one of upgunned Panzer IVs and the other the powerful new Panther Tank. Each brigade numbered over 80 tanks, and three brigades were assigned to the Western Front. But the Panzer Brigades were short of Panzer Grenadiers to support and protect the armour, had no artillery and only a small unit of reconnaissance troops. Without proper battlefield reconnaissance, the tanks were very vulnerable. Experience and training was also deficient. Opposing these three Panzer Brigades was the battle-hardened U.S. 4th Armour Division, it was equipped with the M4 Sherman, inferior in armour and firepower to the Panther and the Panzer IVs. It couldn't penetrate a Panther's frontal armour even at close range, but the US tank crews were better trained and experienced, and the Sherman had some advantages over the lumbering Panther that would shortly be demonstrated in spades. With his fuel supplies restored, in September 1944, Patton prepared to cross the Moselle River and to start moving towards the Rhine. Combat Command A of the 4th Armoured Division was held back from the initial crossing to exploit any breakthroughs. It consisted of one armoured artillery battalion, one armoured infantry battalion, and the 37th Tank Battalion, under Lieutenant Colonel Creighton Abrams. There was also a company of tank destroyers attached. Combat Command A crossed the Moselle on the 13th of September. By the 18th, Combat Command A was concentrated around the town of Aracor in France. The Germans feared greatly for their front line and planned a counter-attack to stabilise the situation and to stop Patton. The 5th Panzer Army was best placed to conduct this operation as it had the three new Panzer Brigades. In the north of the attack, CCA 4th Armoured would be facing a huge German assault. The 113th Panzer Brigade led the charge against CCA. With 40 Panzer IVs and 40 Panther tanks, the 113th was confident that it could steamroller Abrams' 37th Tank Battalion off the map. The German advance was hampered by non-existent reconnaissance. The morning of the 19th of September 1944 was foggy. The Americans could hear the rumble of tank engines. Small packets of Shermans were ready and waiting. The Battle of Aracor was about to begin. 1st Section, 1st Platoon C Company had two Shermans concealed, one in a barn and the other watching a road. A dismounted team using a field telephone was out in front to give advance warning of the Germans. At 7am, several Panthers suddenly appeared and were spotted by the forward observation team. The two M4s opened fire, brewing up two leading Panthers. The following German tanks began reversing into the fog. Another section of Shermans joined the fight. Opening up at 600 metres, slightly from the flank, a third Panther was set on fire as it tried to retire, hit by three armour-piercing rounds. While several sections consolidated their positions, another element of C Company decided to cut off the retreating German column. Four Shermans were available. Speed was the key. The Shermans needed to make a ridge line before the Germans completed their withdrawal. The fast-driving Shermans made it with three minutes to spare, placing them in a flanking position against the retreating German armour. The Shermans opened up. Four M4s versus eight Panthers. Here another Sherman advantage came into play. The Panther took one minute to traverse its turret 360 degrees, whereas the Sherman needed only 15 seconds. The Sherman started to take the Panthers under fire, hitting their thinner side armour. Within just a few minutes, 
all eight Panthers were destroyed for no loss to the Americans. In total, the 37th Tank Battalion had knocked out 11 valuable and superior Panther tanks, not having lost a single Sherman. The German attack in the north was successfully stalled. Though the Germans had the better tank, the Americans used theirs flexibly. Their training and experience also showed. The Germans' lack of reconnaissance didn't help, nor did the Panthers' slower speed and slower turret traverse. The Shermans were outnumbered two to one, but triumphed. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. See the description in the box below about how to support my channel on Patreon and PayPal.